Hey guys, this is Dan Seifer from MobileBurn.com. Uh, what we're demoing for you today is the new Google Docs application for Android smartphones and tablets. Google just released this application today, and uh, it's been a long time in the coming for a lot of Google Docs fans. Um, many times when you wanted to access Google Docs on your Android device, you either had to go through the web browser or use a third-party application that would sync documents to it. So neither one of them was a great solution, but now Google Docs is the native application, so we're going to check it out. So here we go. Opening right up. Let's go back to our home screen there. So when you first open it up, you've got a grid of six icons. Uh, all items takes you to all the Google Docs that are in your account. Collections will open up with specific collections if you set up folders and stuff like that that you organize on the web. Uh, starred will show you the starred documents. Um, documents here will just show you specific documents um, that are separate from images. And then the Images tab is supposed to show you specifically images. Now if you hit More, you can see uh, you can go directly to text documents, spreadsheets, or presentations um, right from there. At the top, you can search your documents or you can create a new document. So if you hit this button to create a new document here, it asks you what type of document you would like to create. You can create a document, uh, like a Word type of document, a spreadsheet, or a document from a photo that's existing on your device already. So if we go to document, you can name it. And then it'll bring you up to the editor screen. Now what you'll notice about the editor is it's really just the mobile web view. And that's what it shows you when you uh, are editing documents, whether that be a Word document or an Excel document or a spreadsheet document. So if we go to edit, we can bring up the editor itself and we can start uh, editing the text and adding text and stuff like that. Um, pretty straightforward. Now we're shouting at people. Uh, and then it automatically saves. So as you can see the button up there changes from save to refresh to save. Um, it automatically saves. It tells you how long ago it saved. And when you back out, and then if you were to go back into it, so let's browse our documents. You can see there's the document we just created. Open it up. And it's automatically saved wherever we were. Now the drop down here gives you an option to print. So if you select that, you can then use the, the Google Cloud Print service to print. So if you have an HP ePrint printer, which is automatically set up with that, you can instantly push prints to that. Or if you've got it set up through a connected computer to a printer, you can print directly from there as well. Taking a look at the list of documents, you've got uh, tabs at the top here. You can view all items, items that are specifically owned by you, or just uh, your home view. Or you can go all the way back and and view your start uh, items there. You can scroll through your different items, taking a look at uh, spreadsheets here. We've loaded up some test documents with spreadsheets. So you can see it doesn't really show charts all that well. That's kind of a Google Docs limitation. But again, it's opened up in the view uh, of the mobile web browser. Let's see here, let's take a look at another spreadsheet. So you can see the different columns and the cells and stuff and you can pinch to zoom to bring it in you can tap and edit this is just like using the web browser if you're familiar with editing a google doc within the web browser on android click submit then you have to refresh there we go and then once it's refreshed it is updated there we go and again, it automatically saves, so when you go back into it, it will be saved uh, wherever you had left off. It does show uh, formatted text, as you can see here, uh, different colors and stuff like that. What, pretty much whatever Google Docs will, will support. Uh, no pinch to zoom, as you can see on this, until you go to the edit mode, which again, opens up the browser view. Actually, in documents, it won't even let you pinch to zoom. It's, it's locked, so you can't. Uh, with Excel spreadsheets uh, or spreadsheets, you can actually pinch to zoom as we saw earlier. Let's go back here. Uh, now here is an image that we took with the 
Galaxy Tab here, and what you can do is you can take an image and instantly upload it uh, to Google Docs. And what it is designed to do is it uses Google's new OCR technology to pull the text out of the document and then turn it into uh, text itself. Now you can see it says Galaxy Tab on the box there, uh, and Google sort of recognizes it. It says Samsung had a little trouble with the G, it put a U, a U with umlauts on top of it, uh, Galaxy Tab, right there. Uh, and it, it really kind of ignored the rest of the text in the image. Uh, it doesn't look like it captures a very high resolution image in this mode, but if you do have higher quality images that are already taken with the device, you can convert them to Google Docs format. Kind of similar to a thing that uh, Evernote does, which is a, a note taking service where it, it, you can take pictures of things and it will pull the text out of the pictures and make it readable. Now, one other thing that they've included is a widget which allows you to easily open up your uh, account, go directly to starred messages, create a new one, or use, open up the camera to create an image uh, that you can upload directly to Google Docs. In the menu button you've got a couple different options. You can switch between different accounts. You can go into your settings. You can clear your cache. Not too much there though. So this is Michael and I'm showing you Google Docs on Android Honeycomb. This is a Motorola Zoom. See we can swipe back and forth some Honeycomb style buttons up there, but still the regular smartphone menu down at the bottom. Tap into one of the documents. Hit the edit button. Uh, before I do that though, notice there's no multi-touch zooming. And I have to tap into the text edit box twice to get the keyboard to work. And every time I type something, notice that that refresh button momentarily says save. Never really have to wait long though, it automatically saves. To get rid of the keyboard, I have to hit that button twice and some sort of bug there. Hit back out and then I'm already, everything's saved nicely. So the image Dan imported, Galaxy Tab box. Uh, here's a spreadsheet. Had charts originally, but they were stripped out when Google imported it. Do have multi-touch zooming here though. So there you go. Quick look at Google Docs running on Android Honeycomb. That's pretty much Google Docs for, for Android. Uh, that was just released today. We're happy to see it. We would like them to flesh out a lot of things on here. Uh, preferably, uh, it would be great to have native editing without having to go into the web browser to edit. Um, and uh, we've noticed that the sync times are very slow. It does take a long time for it to recognize a new document or a new image that we've uploaded to it. But other than that, that's Google Docs for Android. Again, this is Dan Seifer for MobileBurn.com. Thanks, guys.